Okay, welcome back. It's just going to be a very quick episode today. Uh, we couldn't get together to pod, but I can throw together a little, you know, 5 to 30 minute video and upload it pretty quickly. It doesn't take that long to render. I'm going to recap Doctor Strange 2. I'm recapping it. Don't think Splitch has seen it yet, so I'm just going to go ahead and recap it. I'm seeing a lot of mixed feelings, seeing a lot of people don't like it. Got some friends that like it, some friends that don't, some friends that don't give a shit. I'm going to say this. Um, that fucking movie, like, they should have kind of hinted more towards... I don't know. I mean, honestly, they really should have told you that you need to watch WandaVision and fucking Loki, like, entirely. Because they didn't fucking tell anyone that and they did well they didn't really advertise it i'll say they probably obviously told that but the movie just looks like it's going to be a crazy doctor strange 2 movie but one of the biggest pieces of the movie and i'm going to start spoiling it right now is that wanda is looking to find her children and you if you haven't seen all of wandavision you have no idea why or how the fuck she could have children and the, it's her and Vision's kid. And in the show One Division, they had superpowers. I don't know if they actually do, but basically, that entire plot point of this movie was because Wanda needed to be with her, the Scarlet Witch needed to be with her kids in the life that she's in, I guess. The MCU's version of Wanda is the Scarlet Witch. Which I thought she was a Nexus being, which means that, like, she, uh, it, there's only one of her throughout the entire multiverse, but that clearly is not the case. So they're doing something different with the universe, or the Marvel Cinematic Universe. They probably have to change it to the Mar Marvel Cinematic Multiverse, but yeah. Um, what the fuck was I saying? Either way, w Wanda is not a Nexus being, I guess. So there's multiple versions of her, just like there is every other character. And the one that got Vision, that she killed Vision, and then Thanos brought him back and killed him again, <laughs> right in front of her. <laughs> and then in WandaVision, she enslaves a town of like a thousand people, just with her mind, uh, and she like doesn't even mean to. I'm giving WandaVision away now too. You guys gotta watch all this shit. Uh, she creates kids gives them powers or something and then in this movie will like murder hundreds of super mutant people just to get to them so the, they're claiming that because she has the dark hold which is the dark book of magic from wandavision which is another huge piece going into this movie that fucking not half the people who saw it knew well, all the people I'm, I know that didn't like it didn't see that shit, so... Um, yeah, basically... I don't know. I thought it was a great movie, and it was violent, and I like how they did certain scenes, and, um... Like, they kind of built up the Illuminati in the trailer, like, really crazy. And to have them all killed in, like, two and a half minutes after you find out who they all are is fucking nuts and they all die pretty gruesomely uh i'm pretty sure you've seen all the videos and shit but reed richards uh gets shredded and gets ripped like fucking cheese just gets torn apart uh captain carter her agent carter captain britain great britain captain uk is uh she gets chopped in half by her own shield uh, Wanda just grabs it and then just fucking whips it back at her. And it cut her in half. Because I guess Wanda's stronger. A lot stronger. I, it was really like... <clears throat> I sound like I'm downplaying it, but... It was fucking good. But you had to watch like every bit of Marvel shows so far. Except probably Moon Knight. You, I mean, Moon Knight's amazing, but... It's not really what... Like, this movie was based solely on the fact that you had to watch WandaVision and Loki 
Like you, you obviously could get pieces of it, but, and I'm sure people were just like, oh, okay, I guess she has kids now. But if you watch WandaVision, you know of all the dark hold, all the wit, all the kids shit, all the extra torment she went through. It builds up to this movie. Uh, and I do agree that they could have like, they could have, oh, how do I say this? They could have had more of a multiverse type of war. So when they called the movie Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, you think it's going to be a shit ton of people, I guess. Um, and it wasn't. Like, it was. And they introduced a ton of new characters, which means we know they're all coming. Like, Reed Richards, Fantastic Four is coming. Uh, Professor Xavier, you know, X-Men. It's like they killed these characters, but you assume that those are, again, are just variants of those characters, just like everyone else has variants. And you assume that the ones that exist in our universe, uh, Earth 616, then, you know, we'll see them again, I guess. I don't know. I, I sound so, like, not into it, <laughs> but it was... It was really good. I've seen it twice fully, and I loved it. But I just see people's arguments to it, and I get it. Um, but again, it's because I watched every Marvel show so far, it builds up to it really well. So, I don't know. I thought it was a really good movie. I'm, I'm going to give it like a four out of five, probably. Maybe a, a solid eight out of ten, you know. Not going to go too much higher, I think. I will say... Moon Knight is easily the best Marvel show now. Um, as far as those like mini shows, I mean, it's kind of hard to go against WandaVision and Loki because they're characters that we've seen in like major movies already, and they play those shows very well. But Moon Knight's story and everything, the acting, um, specifically, us, I. Oscar Isaac, Isaac Oscar. I, I fucked his name up a couple times already. Him as Moon Knight is, uh, they did a good job there. So I hope he has his third personality or fourth, whatever one they didn't have in the show come out, uh, in a movie. But yeah, this is, um, looking kind of wild. So, I mean, back to Dr. Strange too. I did, I, I won't, I don't want to give away too many parts, but I'll just say like the highlights I thought they pulled off the evil strange and all that shit really well. I thought um, they made the Scarlet Witch as powerful as she was in the comics, which is good because she has she's murdered like all the Avengers. I'm pretty sure that was her that killed like all the Avengers like kind of easily. Um, and yeah, in the movie you could tell she could kill Thanos, and I guess she's like only a kid in the movie, not a kid, but she's like you know early twenties uh, to how everyone. I've seen talk about it in like interviews and shit, but I don't know. She's going to be a crazy character. I don't know if they're going to bring her back. Cause, uh, she's, she collapsed like a gigantic cliff on herself, like a mount. She collapsed like inside of a mountain, like the whole thing just like sucked into her type of thing. And then she just crumbled into the ground cause she was destroying some book. And yeah, I don't know. Again, I thought it was really good. I could see people's arguments and complaints. Uh, if I didn't watch WandaVision or Loki, I think like that would explain a lot more. But yeah. Uh, again, Moon Knight was amazing. Phenomenal fucking show. Best Marvel series out so far, hands down. Um, I'm pretty sure if they make another Avengers movie, they're going to have to do something to bring back Anthony Mackie is Captain America pretty soon because, like, no one I know who's seen the Marvel shows really, like, watched the Captain and the Winter Soldier. What was it? Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Not a lot of people have watched it. And, um, I mean, I thought it was better than a lot of the shows. Like, well, I won't say that. It was better than Hawkeye's show. And that's pretty much it. Yeah. The Batman pretty good not gonna be here longer uh i i just again i'm not a huge fan of robert pattinson um 
I think I liked him in Devil all the time. He actually seemed to put some sinisterness into that character. Uh, I thought he was really good in The Bad Bad. I thought that was a great movie. Probably one of the best Batman movies. I don't know if I like it over the Christian Bale ones, um, specifically The Dark Knight yet, because, I mean, it, it is long, and I don't know. the As a, as a whole movie, as a production, mm -hmm. that's probably the best Batman. But story-wise, and then the other characters in the movie, I still think the second Batman of the uh, Dark Knight trilogy is... Um, I still think that's the best one. Might just be nostalgic to me at this point, though. I don't know, but... Yeah, that, this three-hour movie didn't feel like three hours, which is always good. The movies that feel long like that are usually bad. They usually suck, so... Yeah, it didn't feel long. I thought it was a great movie. And I'm probably talking about these now because I doubt Splitch is going to be watching these anytime soon. So I figured I'll throw a, you know, a little... It looks like it's just going to be a 15-minute video. And uh, yeah, give you guys something on this Wednesday. Hope you have a good one. It's Brute. Check out all the other shit that's dropping on the channel. Deuces.